I'm going to show you how we can use the Houdini engine here inside of Unreal Engine 5.2 to bring in assets from Houdini. And this is actually a really underrated feature called the Houdini node sync. So let's talk about how we can use this. First thing we do is press the create session here. We can see the Houdini session has been connected down here. So let's go ahead and press the open Houdini session sync. And this is going to open a new Houdini file for us like this. Let's give it a minute. And we can see we are inside of Houdini and we have this subnetwork called global nodes. And this is actually where we have to do all of our work inside of this subnetwork. So let's come inside. Let's just create a basic scene inside of Houdini. And we also have to change the parameter window here back to the default if we want to see the settings for these nodes. I have completed this really amazing work of art inside of Houdini and let's try to bring this into Unreal Engine using the feature I was talking about. So let's just copy the path of one of these nulls here, Control C, and come back into Unreal Engine. And if we come up to our Houdini engine here, let's press the Houdini node sync. And the way we bring these assets in is just to paste the path to the null node inside of Houdini here. And then we give the asset a name, and we can give the asset a folder. And if I press this fetch icon here, we can see that the process was successful. So let's bring in the two other models as well. Remember to give each asset a unique name and a unique folder. I have brought in all of the three assets, so let's go into our content browser inside of Unreal. Press control, control space, and we can see we have these three new folders here. And there is our human. Let's bring him in. I'll also bring in the ground and the background. I think there was an error with my ground here, so I'll just try to re-import it. And we can see that we have exactly the same scene with the same positions that we had in Houdini. And the engine has actually also brought in our materials and also our color attributes. So I think this is a feature of the Houdini engine, which has a lot of potential. Unfortunately, it doesn't support cameras or animated geometry at the, mo at the moment. So I'm looking forward to see where SideFX takes this in the future. Thank you for watching.